Well, a very good evening to you. It is Tuesday the 15th of October and it's nine o'clock and yes, I am back. <laughs> I managed to get back from the uh, land of Mexico in one piece. Although, you, as I said pre-show, you did see me last Tuesday on our little team talk where we had so much fun, so much fun. Uh, and uh, Dave Don had even more fun. <laughs> And uh, I think he probably regretted it on uh, Wednesday morning. But hey, it was a day of celebration. And if you have been under a rock somewhere, or you've been in Australia, or you've been on the moon, uh, you would have known, or you wouldn't have known, uh, what had happened last week in the old European Union. And of course, why we moved my um, show back to this week, because um, the Tobacco Products Directive and the European Union shenanigans was far too important to leave, excuse me, until <laughs> until Wednesday. I uh, almost choked myself in. Very strange. Anyway, we have got lots coming up. Um, we're going to look at this um, kind of in the second half. Yeah, which is the E-Fire, X-Fire um, variable voltage, wooden clad carved mod. Yeah, uh, and it's quite funky. I have to say, I've been using that um, quite a lot. Uh, and did a bit of VT for you at the weekend um, for hours working. So I took my camera, as I do, whacked it in the car and uh, did my stuff. So we'll see that uh, coming up very shortly. But all that, all that has to follow what I like to call the titles. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e liquid Yes, it is Tuesday, it is Vapor Scene, and I am back in the chair with the purple shirt on. <laughs> Which Dave Dawn hates. He hates my purple shirt. I don't know why. It just doesn't clash with green, because everything behind me is green, but you don't see that. Only I can see that in my camera. <laughs> so yes, it is the 15th of October, a week after the tremendous day that we had in the European Parliament. And I'd like to start by echoing everyone else's thanks to so many people uh, and I'm not going to go into all the names because I'll be here for the entire half hour um, just saying people's names um, but you all know who you are uh, and more importantly you you know who you are as in everyone watching this everyone in the vaping community that did what they needed to do uh, and speak to their MEPs uh, about their objections to what they were trying to do and uh, as Dave and Dave were talking about on Sunday on Dave's Tackle Box, there's still work to do because we need to keep on at our MPs. And strangely enough, I have here a letter from my MP uh, who has declined a filmed interview, unfortunately. Uh, this is Dan Jarvis, Labour MEP. No, Labour MP. I'm getting my MEPs and MPs mixed up now. He's a Labour MP um, for Barnsley Central. Uh, and as you know, I interviewed Linda McAvan, who is the MEP for my area, uh, who was behind the TPD uh, and who looked quite sad. Yes, quite sad um, <laughs> when the amendment didn't go the way she wanted. Not that way, not this way, not that way. Yeah, we all see what she did. Um, yes, so I'm actually going to see Dan Jarvis uh, on the 25th of October at his surgery. And uh, he's already said in his letter that he will, he's prepared to table a question in Parliament in relation to e-cigs. So I shall be asking him to table that question to the new Under Secretary of State for Health, whose name escapes me, um, but it's not Anna Sobi, no, because she's now looking after tanks. What a shame. I wonder why that happened. Maybe because she lied to the Lords? I don't know. It's only a little opinion. Hmm. Anyway. As I said, I'm digressing, as I always do. 
Um, but uh, we need to keep up with the MPs, and that's exa exactly what I'll be doing. And I shall report back um, the week after I've seen Dan Jarvis and let you know what he says to me. Yes. Anyway, let's move on. Um, some of the news this week. This is a crazy, crazy story I saw in the news. Um, man dies after eating Hero Instant Energy Mints, says Coroner. This guy apparently ate a, a packet of these energy mints, which are crammed, crammed full of caffeine. And they really want to bother us about a bit of nicotine in our e-juice. Have a look at the story. I won't show you the, the whole thing, but he had something like 155 times as much caffeine in him than he should have done. Um, and he just was eating his mints at four pound a packet, like they were sweets. Go figure. They can be on the, on the shelves, probably sold to children. Is it a gateway product into drinking lots of coffee? I don't know these things. <laughs> but the poor chap um, dies because he, he has so much caffeine in his uh, bloodstream. Caffeine's a very dangerous thing, but it's more dangerous than nicotine. Oh yeah, I think so. Anyway, what else have we got? Um, a rather, rather favourable story in the Telegraph. Um, that was quite good. Have a look at that one. Smoke without a fire. Yes, they've pinched our little tagline there. <laughs> they've pinched the swath campaign. Um, so uh, that was quite favourable. Have a look at that one. And then also, I was tweeting at the weekend uh, about the BMJ, the British Medical Journal. Uh, they had a story out there in their pages and a little um, poll. Uh, and there was a vote which has now changed, I've checked it before I came live, but this now changed to a different one. Uh, this was how it looked on the 12th. Uh, 947 votes, 68.9% in favour of, of uh, not having them regulated. And then yesterday, that changed. So nearly double the votes and over 77% of people who voted um, said that e cigs should not be classed as medicines. So there you are. Uh, and I think that vote is now closed because it was another one about GP surgeries when I looked earlier. Um, but uh, very important that we, we jump on those and vote the way that we uh, want to do it. And I did vote on the one show poll um, when I was in Scotland last week. I couldn't really do much else. I couldn't watch any of the shows because the Wi-Fi was a bit poor. Um, but I did manage to get onto the one show page uh, and vote. Um, but we all know what that coverage was like. It wasn't cracking, was it? No. Anyway, oh, eight minutes past already. Um, let us go into this week's uh, show is yours, and the first show is yours for quite some time. So uh, see if you can recognise who is in the first picture when I find the actual video. There it is. It's here. It's coming up. Show is yours. And now it's time for Show is Yours, sponsored by Flavor Art UK. <laughs>
show is yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK. Yes, that was this week's show is yours gallery, and it was Mr. Kitson. The first picture was in fact Dave Kitson, who uh, took that picture when he was in the Far East. He was in Malaysia, I believe, uh, and I think he was out uh, kayaking on that particular day. He sent me a couple of pictures and uh, I bunged that one in. Although, Mr. Kitson can't win the juice. <laughs> but I tell you who can win the juice. Oh yes, the winner this week is going to be... It's Andrew Hawes, uh, who sent in a few pictures actually, so I've kind of collaged them into a little uh, three picture collage there. A couple of Evix uh, and a lovely Apple logo um, on his, I'm not sure what that is actually, is it, a, is it an Apple book? I haven't got Apple. I've only got an iPad. But there you go. <laughs> Congratulations, Andrew. I will be emailing you after the show and let you know how you get your juice. And if you would like to do the same, send me a video. Not video. Send me a video if you want. You can send me a picture <laughs> to Vaporscene at vaportrails.tv. I think we're going to let this run till the end of the year and then get something new because uh, we've been doing Vaporscene for just about a year now. So, um, We'll get a different competition, I think. Um, so keep your pictures coming in for now, uh, and then uh, I'll come up with something, and we'll start the new year with a new competition, and maybe some new titles, and maybe a new look, maybe a longer show. I don't know. Let's see what happens. OK, so let us now go on to uh, my little device cam here and look at the Xfire E-Fire, or the E-Fire X-Fire. Um, and we're going to go to a little vapor trail. See you in about two, four minutes. Hello, hello. Uh, it's Sunday, uh, and what time is it? It's uh, quarter to ten in the a.m. And I have just driven up from South Yorkshire to the northeast for I am working this morning doing some server stuff, as I tend to do at the weekends because uh, it makes it a lot easier. Uh, and uh, obviously. Overtime is overtime. <laughs> but there you go. Um, I'll have some updates, really. Let's do some updates. First thing, the Magoo. I've been using the Magoo um, quite a lot, I have to say, and I did take it away to Mexico. Uh, and I said when I did my piece on it a while ago that the tank was Pyrex, and I was wrong. Oh, yes, I was actually wrong. Uh, it's not Pyrex, it's polycarbonate. Um, and I noticed this when I'd dropped it um, in Mexico and it had just come slightly skewed uh, and I took it apart and gave it a good clean and put it back together again and realised that the tank is actually polycarbonate so yeah it's not Pyrex um, will there be a Pyrex version I wonder I don't know I don't know but still a cracking device I still haven't uh, re-wicked it at all uh, and I've been using it like I said pretty much all the time um, since I've had it and it, it's still performing extremely well hmm. he says with some vape fest um, ginger in there um, yes yeah, so that was number one. Number two, and I don't have them with me, but number two was the Jack Vapor VIP kit that I did take away on holiday with me. Uh, and they worked quite well, I have to say. I was using the um, the SID with either the 18650 or the 18350 tube. I did take both of them. Uh, and that's all I took with me device-wise. Tell a lie, I took my MVP. <laughs> <laughs> I did take my MVP, which I used a couple of times. Uh, I kind of kept that in reserve, um, but I had two batteries of each for this, um, so I've pretty much used that all the time. Um, during the day, I'd put the 18350 on, make it a bit smaller to carry around, uh, and at night, changed it to the 18650. Um, but I did use the Jack Vapor VIP kit, uh, and I was using that in the airport, uh, which gave me no issues. I was also using the S, uh, the SID in the airport as well. Um, in Mexico, I used the Jack Vapor VIP kit um, on the beach, uh, and I also took my other mod, the SID, to the beach. So it was kind of both. Um, 
it was okay. The Jack Vapor VIP, it was okay. Battery life wasn't hugely brilliant, as you can imagine. Um, but I did take my battery, the one that uh, Dave Kitson showed on his show. Uh, he bought himself that 15,000 milliamp battery, and I bought one as well. And that, I must say, uh, was a great buy. Not only did it charge the iPads and the phones, um, but it also charged e-cigs <laughs> on the beach, which was quite good, quite handy. Uh, so I plugged in the Jack Vapor VIP PCC into that, and it charged, and then I just charged the... Uh, the little e-cigs as well. So it was good. It, it wasn't something that I'd be using all the time, I have to say. Um, but today, I have this for you. Uh, and this is the e-fire. Uh, and it's a wooden mod. It's actually a, a, an Ego Twist style battery variable voltage. Uh, and it comes with one of those, which is a Vivinova. And this is a Pyrex Vivinova. Um, so let's have a closer look at it in the studio uh, and then we'll come back and I'll show you what it vapes like. Yes indeed, more in part two. Um, I've been using this quite a lot uh, and uh, I've been vaping on it uh, as that was playing out. Um, but I'm just looking at the time and uh, I really need to get the ads in. So we'll go to the ads. When we come back we can look at this in more detail. So I'll see you in two. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health EV, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. Iveber and Iveber Elixir, best in Yorkshire for your ECB needs. That's iveber.co.uk and iveber-elixir.co.uk. Iveber and iveber-elixir.co.uk are proud sponsors of vapertrails.tv. Now it's back to Vaporscene on Vaporchilles TV. Vaporscene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. And welcome indeed back to part two. And I cut that off very slightly because I've really running out of time and uh, the next video is slightly longer than the last one um, yes just looking at chat there uh, it is a, a, a nice mod nice feel to it a nice wooden mod um, and this does have a little bit of an issue with connectivity um, when you take the top off to fill it it kind of moves the inside so you need to make sure everything's nice and solid and screwed in tight uh, and then it's fine but anyway let's look at the next part of that VT see you in a minute So here we are then, this is the X-Fire E-Fire wooden kit, um, comes in this very nice box uh, and uh, let's have a look what you get inside. 
you get when you flip the lid. A uh, little instruction book in the top here. You also get your battery itself and you get a glass Vivian Overtank with a dual coil atomizer. It's a three and a half mil capacity and of course you get a little beautification ring. So let's have a look at each one of these things individually. So the little card you get in the top, it's just a card and it just tells you what the individual components are. We'll put that to one side. You get the battery itself, which if I zoom in, you will get a much better look at. And you can see that it is carved out of wood. And it's very nicely done. It's got a little skull design there, as you can see. And if I zoom in even tighter, and get it into focus, you'll see that at the bottom is your voltage regulation uh, and it goes all the way down from 3.3 volts and then it's marked at 3.8, 4.3 and then 4.8 and you can see the little increments in between and these are actually carved into the wood um, so they're not going to rub off with normal use. Um, I wonder how long it would take for this finish um, to be affected by just normal day-to-day -day sweat on the hands. Um, but it is, it's a very nice battery, I have to say. Uh, it's an 1100 milliamp variable voltage, and it's the standard um, five clicks on, five clicks off. So if I zoom out again, um, it's currently off. So if I do uh, five clicks, it turns on, just like an Ego battery does. Um, so basically it's an Ego battery with an outer case uh, and it's like a twist, it's variable voltage. Um, you do get the beautification ring um, which screws on as standard. It would have been nice to have it in the same kind of colour, um, so this matched that, um, but that's just me being picky. You can then screw on the Vivinova tank. Uh, and you can see how well that looks. Um, it's got a nice weight to it. The tank is actually heavier than the battery, I think. Uh, so it is a little bit top heavy, um, but it's fine just stood up um, as long as you're not going to uh, knock into it unnecessarily. Standard 510 connection drip tip. Uh, this one is plastic, looks metal, but it's not. It's actually just a, a metal coated plastic. Uh, and that goes into the top there quite stiffly. It is very snug, um, but you could get another 510 connection in there. Um, so that's basically the setup. Um, you can go, as I said, from 3.3 volts all the way up to 4.8. I've had the tanker meter on it, but I'll put it on for you now. Um, and. Um, you can see the voltages that come off. Um, it does seem to be fairly good at the voltages. So let's put the tanker meter on. It's the easiest way to get the, uh, the voltages. And we'll put it all the way up to the top. So it's at 4.8. And that is indeed giving me 4.8. Uh, if I go down to the bottom end, that should give me 3.3 and it gives 3.26, which is slightly out. If we go halfway, 3.8, 3.73, and if we go up to 4, 3.8, 3.9, 4, just under, 4.3, just over. So it's, you know, it's in the ballpark. It's not that wildly off what it says it's actually producing. Uh, and the top end and the bottom end are spot on. Uh, and this has been fully charged. It doesn't come with the Ego battery charger. Um, you do have to get that separately. Uh, and it's currently retailing on UK6 store at £49.98. Um, for the kit, which is the battery uh, and the Vivinova 
and the little beautification ring um, to uh, make it look a bit better when you've got things like this on. Um, we'll put it to the test and uh, I'm going to use it in the car and then we'll look at it more in detail when we're back in the studio. So uh, let's get some juice in the tank. Here is the uh, Vivinova tank. It's the glass Vivinova tank, uh, stainless steel as well. Comes apart very easily uh, and of course you can change these heads just by unscrewing them um, and there you go it's in pieces this is actually uh, rated at 1.8 ohms and it's a dual coil twin wicked affair uh, and you can very easily recoil these as well uh, I recalled one in my hotel bedroom when I was away on holiday recently um, for my smock Pyrex tank which I took away. So you screw it back on, screw the tank back on and then you are ready to fill with your juice of choice. Uh, and I have some uh, Mrs. B's Vanilla Custard which is an e-cig wizard Wismix liquid uh, one of the many that uh, came in the little raffle bag that I got from Vapefest which I'm working my way through. So very simply, as with all the Vivinovas, put your little bottle into one side and squeeze away. Uh, and this is going to take some filling. There we go. That'll about do it. So, I filled it that much. I'm going to put the top back on. Let it soak in and then we're going to vape on it. Oh yes. So, let's go to the car, because I'm going to vape it in the car, uh, and then uh, I'll tell you exactly what I think of this, and what I think of this juice. See you in a minute. And welcome back. So we've looked at this, which is the eFire by Xfire from a UK e store. Uh, variable voltage, it's an 1100 milliamp battery with a, uh, a carved jacket over the top, um, goes from 3.3 volts up to 4.8 volts and comes bundled with a little beautification ring which I've turned that way round because I found the other way round the connection wasn't that great um, so I've turned it that way round uh, with the Pyrex tank Vivinova uh, and I have the Mrs B's vanilla custard from eSig Wiz um, in the tank and I've been uh, vaping on this for a little while and uh, in the car on the way up to Washington. And it's very nice, that's at 4.3 volts, I'm just going to whack it up to 4.5. Um, this is a dual coil setup on the Vivinova uh, and you can, as I said in that little bit of VT, easily, easily, easily re-wick these, they're so easy to do. It's unreal. And it produces plenty of vapour. Um, I've killed I don't know how many uh, twists uh, and spinners <laughs> by uh, either dropping them and standing on them um, or the end comes off and I then resolder them but then all the wires tend to come off the board and I forget which ones go where. So I've got a couple of them um, in boxes, um, which I think I might need to send to Mr. Jones or Mr. Dibley, because they probably know um, where the wires go. <laughs> Being the mod masters that they are, I just tinker. I'm not a bad solderer, um, but uh, I just tinker when it comes to mod boards. Um, but the e-fire, I have to say, is very nice. It feels really nice in the hand, um, and you can feel the uh, the carvings. I just wonder how long it will take for them to um, wear down uh, if you've got particularly uh, heavy sweat on the hands or particularly acidic sweat as some people do have. It's very strange when you're sat in your car 
doing a piece to camera like this and you've got people walking in front of you looking at you thinking what the hell is that man talking about and what's he doing talking to a camera <laughs> they must think i'm mad anyway <laughs> that's it let's go back to the studio i'm gonna go and do some work i will see you in a minute yes indeed i am still here <laughs> I just took the opportunity to film the intro and the outro at the same time um, because I knew I had a lot of work to do. Um, so I've been trying to get up to speed, having had time off. Um, so yes, uh, I do like this mod, it's very nice. Um, I've had a few issues connectivity wise with the Vivi Nova tank and maybe that's been the problem as opposed to the beautification ring. Um, but it is very nice, I do uh, like it. And this is gonna be uh, kind of used in the car quite a lot, I think, because it's a nice, Nice mod to put down in the centre console um, rather than the big ones. Although I do like taking the EVIC because I can charge it as I drive, um, as you do. Um, but yes, very nice, very nice indeed. And um, we've got some more mods coming up over the next few weeks. Um, Dave's already touched on the VTR, but uh, I'll be doing a piece on the VTR maybe next week, maybe the week after. Uh, and uh, I've got some other things coming up as well. But talking about things coming up <laughs> tonight, in about 10 minutes on this very channel, you can watch DE Talk. So if you do speak German, stick around for that. If you don't, why not head over to RY4 Radio and listen to Rob Taylor. Uh, and don't forget also, on Thursday, you can catch our very own Karen <laughs> on uh, RY4 Radio too. Tomorrow night, of course, it is Dave Dawn and the effervescent loveliness that is Sav on VT Talk. And Dave is again back on Thursday with Keith for the Haze Hour. Sunday, it is Mr. Kitson uh, with Dave's Tackle Box. Monday, of course, the Modmeisters are here, Dave and Mark with Tin Your Tip. And I will be here next Tuesday if I survive our <laughs> team night on uh, th <laughs> Thursday night, Dazza. Um, let's see what I can come up with uh, for next week's show. But I will see you next week. And until I do, have fun, vape hard, vape really, really hard, and don't let the buggers ground you down. Tati bye. Vapazine is proudly sponsored by Health Evape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid.